they are upgrading the Suron bikes, man, and putting this little puppy here, man. So I'll do a little demonstration here. Ah! Man, so many powerful toys, man! Whoa, big motors, big controllers! They look very small, but they're actually really powerful, man! <laughs> so here we got the ASI controllers everyone is talking about, man! Whoa, Canadian company! So this is the big brother, man! That's the back 8000 here! Whoa, back 8000, see? <laughs> and this is the middle brother! See, this is the back 4000! 8,000, 4,000, like these numbers, they're not related to power, okay? So 8,000 is actually 32 kilowatts controller, man. Ah! It's capable of frying this little motor here, man. <laughs> so a lot of people installing these controllers on the uh, Suron bikes, man. Like this one here, man. We got Adam here, man. Ah! So a little demonstration here, look. Uh. <laughs> Do it again. You see the controller here? It's actually mounted properly, huh? Lots of people are mounting these controllers facing this way, but hang on, you get lots of mud splashing in the connectors, everything exposed, you know, like in the cooling plate actually need to be facing the outside here, man. So you get some wind cooling this, otherwise it's gonna overheat and kaboom, man! Eh? <laughs> Look how neat it looks. Nice, man. Eh? So, Adam, Adam. Let's do a little demonstration here, man. Adam, my friend. Yeah, actually, we're taking this motor home tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, we've got a oh, nice battery, man. Lots of red and black wires here. Whoa! That's what we're prototyping here. <laughs> so, and then we've got all the Suron harness here. Wire, 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 wire. Right, so this is the settings here. So, when you buy these controllers here, uh, if you buy from ASI, uh, directly from the ASI, you pay a little bit more, but you get the support, you get the login, you can go through so many settings here, but if you buy from someone, they actually save a profile for you, and yeah, you don't really have uh, all this, like, crazy access. Adam, just do a little navigation here, let's just show a little bit, show the motor settings and stuff. Now, go, go, go back to the, like, the main settings here on the software. So, yeah. Is th this is a simple profile layout which has a few battery settings, data, logging, motor settings, throttle settings, brakes, display, performance. Within each menu, you can go into a sub menu, insert a parameter, and select one of the million options that ASI give you. <laughs> There's oh. a redonkulous amount of thing parameters and that you can add. Look the scroll bar here on the side, just keep, keep rolling. <laughs> It's just monster, man. Like, look how many. only up there. Wow, it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. You want to try and keep a simple layout page so you can see what's going on. But, yeah, um, if you put too much data there, you can't even monitor it. Yeah, <laughs> so just click on battery, for example, here. So within battery, information. Everything that's big. in black, it's, it's stuff, it's just, you're just monitoring, and in green, stuff that you can actually edit it, right? Yeah, that's your edited in your live stuff, so. Wow! System voltage, percentages, and stuff like that. So you can keep an eye on that. But that's only one sub menu <laughs> of what's available here. So, so data fun. logging motor. So here you show like all the motor parameters. Yeah. Ooh! So, there's heaps of stuff like pedal stuff, like hardware. Yeah. So this is the back controllers, the ASI controllers. I keep on saying back. I don't know why. <laughs> Ride performance. Wow, it goes on and on, acceleration control. So these are to do with your Axel and D-cell um, sort of smooth settings, play around with those. That's the throttle response. Um, there's so, a bunch of different stuff you can play around with this choice. Show, show here, man. Show this thing in action, man. Look. That's the, that's the motor and the controller without all the chain and all the noisy things. So this is just a, the electrical noise here, pretty much, right? It's only four amps. Four amps, so this hook, that's my clamp meter we're measuring here, comparing versus the software, because the software actually got some measurements here. We're actually monitoring in real time, but we're tricking with some different numbers here, so the numbers are not matching, because we're actually telling the controller that the, this motor is a different motor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! So, wow! 
one thing we notice here, like, so because we're actually tricking, putting different number of poles and things, just, you know, get the things smoother. So we actually noticed that the control, the, actually the motor shaft is getting hot. Like if you keep on pulling the throttle here, the motor shaft is getting hot. So this is something we're going to be testing and studying. So in another three weeks, so we're going to be coming here. So we're going to have three bikes like this with the ASI controller. And Rod, Adam, going to be riding here. We've got a friend. How old is your friend that's coming here, eh? Grown, uh, let's say 60 odd, so. 60 something year old guy. B grade trials rider, so he knows how to ride. He is a good guy, so he's not an old man. No, 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 he <laughs> put a lot of guys to shame. <laughs> so we're coming here with a 60 year old man to test his controller in the motor here, man. Actually, he tests, he's, he's actually testing his controller every day. He's had his for weeks and he loves it, so. Um, <laughs> he can't go back. No, never. <laughs> Once you go ASI, you never go back, man. No, never. Whoa! Thanks, Adam. Oh, so much power, man. <laughs>